Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is a video for those of you who have a schmidt cassegrain telescope, like this one here. This is a Celestron C9.25, and I happen to have a hyperstar attached to it. Now many of you are familiar with something called a Batonoff mask. It's used to help focusing when you're taking images. I've got a special one here that's got a hinge on it, and that allows me to put it around my hyperstar so that I can use it to focus my telescope without interfering with the hyperstar or the cables. But have you heard of something else called a tri batonoff mask? That's what we're going to talk about today. Schmidt-Cassegrain telescopes, like this one I have here, require collimation. And that's where you have the secondary mirror perfectly aligned with the primary mirror at the back. It's very easy for telescopes like this to go out of collimation. It can only be a very small difference between the tilt of this secondary mirror and how it will affect the quality of the image that you see. Well, there's a new innovation that's really helped with collimation. For years, I struggled with collimation. I would try to look at a star and defocus it, and the idea was you'd see a donut, and you get the donut to be as spherical, as circular as possible, and not be misshapen. But I never really was satisfied with my results. But now there's something new and it's called a tri batonoff mask. And you can compare that to a regular batonoff mask and you can see that they're different. So the tri batonoff mask, you have to align it on the telescope such that the three places where the adjustment screws are are lined up with the three veins on the tri batonoff mask. And you'll see that when you use this, you get an 18 pointed star. And the idea is to make this 18-pointed star as symmetric as possible. So let's talk about how we do that. This new device called a tri batonoff mask has really changed the way I collimate my Schmidt-Cassegrain telescope. I'll provide a link in the video description where you can buy them, or there are designs available free online if you have a 3D printer. To use the tri batonoff mask, you place it over the corrector plate such that the radial lines line up with the collimation screws. You'll get a result something like this. Then you adjust your collimation screws until you get a perfectly symmetrical 18 point star. Remove the mask and your planets will never have looked so good, assuming you have good seeing that night. Here are some examples of images I took under average seeing conditions, both before using the tri batonoff mask and after. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.